YouTubers, welcome back for another adventure. So I got all this wonderful snow and I have this Lunai 400 UTV, but unfortunately this isn't running. I do not have proper spark for this machine. I can spend the next half day troubleshooting it and then need a part that I do not have or we could hack it. So let's hack it. Well, in a few easy steps, we'll have Spark back on that lanai, and we'll be out riding. First thing you need to do is you need to go, I bought this from eBay, you could also get it from Amazon, I don't know about internationally, Universal Motor Parts, you could see they're about 15, quick delivery, and DC, CDI, all those words. 4-pin also works. Anyway, so when they deliver this to your house, what are you going to get? You're going to get the harness. You're going to get the CDI. <laughs> right? You're going to get the coil. And it's all going to show up in a nice box, just like this. Right? Here it is. So, now that you have that, what else do you need? Next thing, if you look up Stator Generator Alternator Magneto Lanai 400 CUV, right? eBay puts this really nice diagram on here, and you see that right there is the pulse generator. And if you look, you could see a yellow wire and a blue wire it goes into this harness and it comes out with its own little connector that's behind that. You'll see there's a separate connector with the yellow and blue wire. Now you just got to smash them together. When you dump the box out, you're going to have a CDI, you're going to have a harness, and you're going to have a spark coil. See this with the plug? There's only one plug that looks anything like this, right? And you slip that right into there, just like that. Oh, done. The second thing is there's only one set of prongs here that have a green wire and a black wire with a yellow stripe. And what do we have right here? A green wire and a black wire with a yellow stripe. So you just plug those in together. So you got this part of the wire harness all filled up and you'll notice that and you'll notice this. These have green wires and a black wire with a white stripe and they both have it. What these would go to from this, this is actually a pit bike wire harness. One of these would go to the key switch and it is an off. And the other one would go to the handlebar switch, which is that button you push to turn it off. So you know what you do with those? You ignore these. Just ignore them. Don't cut them off. Don't think about it. You're done. That only leaves you three more connections. See the blue wire? Right? That needs to go to the pulse generator. Remember I showed you there was a blue wire? This green wire... You actually have to split this off and send one of these off to the pulse generator, right? A second wire from this green needs to join, needs to go to the negative of the battery or the all-terrain vehicle frame. And this is black and red. This needs to go to plus 12 volts. Other than that, this cap goes on the spark plug and this here has to bolt to the frame somewhere or you can put a wire around it and hook it to something and if you do all that and compact it all down and you extend the wires this is what you end up with you can see I just taped the um, CDI right to the spark coil here you have the wire coming off Right. That bolt there, right, this frame, 
I just put a copper wire. I'm going to attach that to the frame of the all-terrain vehicle somewhere. And you can see the wires that come off of here. I just extended them. The black and red I made red. The blue I made blue. And what will eventually be yellow, it's green here. I just made black, which is also ground. So we just have to go out and hook that up. Not hard to do. Okay, I got everything wired up. You can see how I put the copper wire. It's underneath that bolt and it's bolted up here. So we got the frame bolted up, which is the ground side of the spark wire. All happy and good, right? We got the blue wire in with the blue wire right there and the black wire going in with the yellow which is acting as a ground which is all good I haven't trimmed any of these wires back and the red wire I have going into here which is power direct um, yeah that goes up to the key switch I should have something coming off the key switch. So that's actually in the wrong spot. I have the um, the CDI powered up all the time. This doesn't stay on very good. Let's hope it does. Put a battery in. Let's see how she does. The way these are supposed to be started, by the way, you can see I have dashboard. Um, the ways these are supposed to be started is you pull on the choke, you don't give it any gas, you just turn the key and hope for the best. And I'm not getting the best. Looks like my brand new battery soiled the bed. Put the jump pack on it, hopefully between the two of them, and go. get a ride out of this um, yeah the, my new starting relay obviously doesn't work <laughs> you gotta love this China stuff don't you <laughs> once again if you can't fix it you better not own it anyway folks you'll see this again I'm gonna uh, take it out hopefully get a few donuts out of it before it stops running <laughs> and uh, I'll uh, do a bit of a review now that theoretically it's running properly. I want hey tubers, welcome back for another adventure. Suddenly this thing isn't running very well. Auto response. <sighs> Throttle cable slipped off. Boy, this thing is just a bloody mess.
are you telling me the brake stop? Is there a parking brake of some sort with this thing? Well, I'm going for it. One way or the other, we're going for it. starting solenoid stuck on god this thing is uh, becoming quite the piece of dookie anyway this is where it sits until tomorrow I'll, uh, I'll come back and we'll see if we can't get a real ride out of it